Coca-Cola employees were urged to be less white <laughs> as part of the company's diversity training, I but the this. material was taken offline following a viral whistleblower post. I'm reading from the New York Post. The Confronting Racism course in question was offered by LinkedIn Education and allegedly utilized by the soft drink Titan. In the U.S. and other Western nations, white people are socialized to feel that they are inherently superior because they are white, reads one of the slides allegedly sent from an internal whistleblower and posted on Twitter by YouTube commentator Carolyn Borisinko. Another slide suggests try to be less white. Okay, with tips including be less depressive, be, uh, listen, believe, and break with white solidarity. Borisenko, who described herself as a supporter of banning critical race theory, said the screenshots were sent to her from an internal whistleblower from Coca-Cola who told her the course was required. Uh, her tweet from Friday has garnered 18,000 retweets and 34,000 likes. On Monday, LinkedIn said it had pulled the controversial course written by sociologist Robin D'Angelo, the author of White Fragility. The Confronting Racism course featuring Robin D'Angelo is no longer available in our course library at the request of the third-party content provider we licensed this content from, Nicole Leverich, Vice President of Corporate Communications, told Newsweek. Uh, Leverage continued, we provide a wide variety of learning content, more than 270 courses on the topic of diversity, inclusion, and belonging. We will continue to add new courses to help people learn the skills they need to be more successful in their career, including the foundational skills we all need to be effective allies and help to build a more equitable future. Coca-Cola denied the training was mandatory, Newsweek reported. But Borisenko told the outlet that multiple workers said it was, in fact, required. Uh, the drink giant told Newsweek that while its Better Together initiative included access to the LinkedIn diversity training, the course was not part of the company's curriculum. We will continue to listen to our employees and refine our learning programs as appropriate, the company said. Please foghorn that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To be less white is, this is part of the story, is to be less oppressive, less, ig less arrogant, less certain, less defensive, less ignorant, more humble, listen, believe, break with apathy, break with white solidarity. Uh, I think I can dumb this down for us. Please. <clears throat> First of all, uh, to be less white is uh, impossible uh, on the face of it any more than it's possible to be less black. You are what you are. But there's a contradiction here. To be less white is to be less certain, but more and also less ignorant. Well, which is it? Less certain implies to me a certain degree of ignorance. So you want me to be less certain, but you also want me to be less ignorant. That makes no sense. But there's a, isn't, go ahead, go ahead. Isn't certainty confidence? Yes. What's wrong with confidence? I'm gonna get to that because I'm, I'm seeing a very dark side to this, a very dark side. First of all, it's all BS that it's been dreamed up out of whole cloth. Critical race theory is merely the means by which you are to be humbled and admonished for the fate of your birth. But it's worse than that. It's worse than that. Not necessarily unrelated was a piece in today's Wall Street Journal written by uh, William McGurn, uh, who writes the Main Street column on the Washington in the Wall Street Journal editorial pages. And what we learn is the, he calls it the woke model minority myth. I can link this to Coca-Cola in just a moment. The North Thurston Public Schools in Lacey, Washington made headlines in November when their equity report classified Asian Americans along with whites as uh, in, instead of students of color. 
In other words, the Asians were lumped with whites and not considered to be students of color in that school district. Apparently, the Asian Americans were doing too well academically to be students of color. After what the district said was an overwhelming public response, great, there was pushback, it admitted its category choices had racist implications and dropped the equity report from its website. Uh, Asian Americans are caught in a bind, condemn the system of white supremacy and privilege along with other people of color or be banished from the victim group as white adjacent said Wen Yuan Wu, Executive Director of Californians for Equal Rights. The end goal here is to pit people against each other as if our hyphenated identities are bigger than our common destiny as Americans. All right, here's, uh, here, here's the problem. And we touched on this when we learned of the reforms that are scheduled to take place in the Minnesota Social Studies curriculum in Minnesota's public schools. What the progressives are doing They're defining achievement, uh, wealth, family, faith, and discipline as merely affectations of having been born white, which is tantamount to telling a child of color, we don't expect you to be successful, we don't expect you to achieve. Those are white affectations that you don't have to worry about. Rather than see them as universal values, they are now being used by the progressive Mysterians to disabuse people of color, children of color in particular in the failed academy, of being the, being the uh, captains of their own destiny. They're being told that that is a white privilege dynamic in your life to be the captain of your own destiny, which is, again, tantamount to, why don't you just put your foot on that black kid and hold him down? It's truly stunning to me, truly stunning to me. Examples abound. A report last year called The Secret Shame notes how public schools in America's most progressive cities have been failing their black and Latino children for decades. How does Mayor, uh, New York Mayor Bill de Blasio respond? In January, America's self-styled progressive in chief announced that New York will abolish the entrance exam for the city's gifted and talented programs for young students. If you can't fix the schools that are broken, you cut down to size the schools that are working. Uh, it, it's, it's truly, uh, truly amazing. The progressive contention is that admitting students on individual merit is really about holding, upholding white dominance. But then the fly in their ointment is, well, what about Asian American success? Well, in this narrative, that's using the model minority myth as a wedge against African Americans to send them the false message that with strong families and hard work, America's racism can be overcome. The progressives want children of color to believe that is a false message. Somebody's going to have to help me understand how evil these people are. And I'm going to say this again because I've said it 10,000 times. Parents, black parents, save your children. Progressive Mysterians are not doing your children a favor. They're hurting your children. Calling it, a progressive, calling it progressive to send children of color the message that achievement is white is an irony lost on the woke people. Bigoted laws such as the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 or actions such as the internment uh, of Japanese Americans dur during World War II were once thought among the worst stains on American history left by anti-Asian racism. But these days, the characterization of Asian Americans as the model minority triggers the woke. Asian Americans don't fail enough to be considered people of color. How do you like that? <laughs> so they've been banished and called white adjacent. Why, you Asian Americans, you're no better than white people. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? To think that, to, to, call, to call achievement merely a result of whiteness is not only ridiculous, it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense.
And here you have it in the failed academy, uh, school after school after school, rushing to uh, uh, forward this preposterous idea that uh, universal values that have worked throughout time are not universal values. They are exclusively owned and uh, uh, result in privilege for white people. You used a phrase a while back, and it's ringing true right now. We are just simply never going to be woke enough. No, you can't be woke enough. We're never going to be woke enough. Mm -hmm. Will we ever reach a point in this country where we're all just people? No, because the progressives are determined, <laughs> as, as McGurn notes, the progressives are determined to put people pitted against each other. My friends are my friends, uh, the, uh, and that's just the, uh, their the ethnicity and race and religion never figures in. Why, what's so hard about that? Why is because that Because that's difficult? seen to be white. That is seen to be white. And white is what's under attack. White right. is evil. The principal reason for this is the fact that Asian American uh, is the fact of Asian American achievement. This is an embarrassment to progressives because it undermines the claim that structural racism dooms non-white citizens to the margins of the American dream. So Asian American achievement must either be dismissed or somehow white or sacrificed, oh no, needs, to, needs either to be dismissed as somehow white or sacrificed at the altar of equity. Isn't this something? It's Isn't dumbfounding. Isn't this is something? It's, it's astonishing. But, it, but what's amazing, too, is I'm sitting here trying to think, how, how would anyone in the right, uh, at the right level of success, how can you combat that? Because you're just going to be labeled. Mm -hmm. You can't fight against this kind of thinking mm -hmm. in 2021. You can't. Uh, to, to think that achievement is that property only of white people is to do a a horrific disservice to everybody else in the world. To everybody else in the world. It is not exclusively the property of white people. It's, a, it's a, an ephemeris goal that has no ownership. Achievement has no ownership. A, a black kid can sit in a math class and get the same damn good grade as a white kid or an Asian kid. There's no reason not to. But these black kids keep being made less than. It's, it's a sin. Remember that quaint old concept? Committing well, a sin? Remember that old concept? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're sinning. The Mysterian progressives are sinning against children of color. They're sinning. You have to back up a little bit. Just back up 30 seconds. Not all white people got straight A's. Come on, <laughs> well, we know a lot that, of us of ended a, a lot of us ended up as traffic reporters and <laughs> working no, no, out at the airport. No, and, of course you know what we, I mean? <laughs> That adds a further preposterous note to the claim that any achievement is merely because you're white. Yeah. No, there's plenty of white right. failure to go around. <laughs> right. Good lord. I can read up a storm, but uh, I have difficulties with math. <laughs> I can't you know? sing like Al Green. <laughs> Boy, that's that's the fact right there. You, al fact. <laughs> you also can't make a three. I can't make a three. I can't make an eight. Right. I can't run as like Delvin Cook. I can't sing like Alvin Green. I can't act like Sidney Poitier. I can't write like, uh, oh, who's the playwright I'm thinking of? Uh, oh, my Kenny God. There's been, no, there's been many successful black authors. Uh, I, I'm telling you something. This this is uh, this is a sin a sin committed against. Uh, so-called marginalized people with with the with the with the end result keeping them marginalized <laughs>